Now we are in the middle of Let's Do Dinner Detroit and today we're featuring another Detroit staple that's been around since 1948. Mario's Italian Restaurant in Midtown Detroit. So joining us to talk about the event is Mary and restaurant owner Vince. Thanks a lot for coming in today. Well, thanks, thanks for, for having, having us. us. Yeah. First off, Vince, 1948, 75 years. What's it like to have been in the community for that many years? I know you uh, haven't been there for all of them, I've but I here, mean for I, a lot. I've been here for 43 of the years. <laughs> uh, it's been great. You know, it's been a lot of fun. The city of Detroit's a really nice place. Uh, Midtown's been great to us. Um, theater, you know, we're right in the center of everything that's going on. It's happening downtown. So. We're real happy with what's been going on downtown for uh, Yeah, such a rejuvenation uh, happening. Now let's get to the event. Uh, Mary, tell us about the event and really about Forgotten Harvest and how it's involved. Yeah, so Let's Do Dinner Detroit is actually sponsored by Stella Artois and there's over 25 uh, participating restaurants, including Mario's. Um, the cuisine varies and it is a range of $25 per three course meal to $75 per three course meal. So it's, it's curated for this event specifically, which I find super cool. Uh, a lot of these restaurant weeks don't work that way, so it's just a, a unique experience highlighting Detroit restaurants while also uh, giving back to the community. So Forgotten Harvest is one of the uh, largest food rescues in Metro Detroit, and for every meal purchased, $2 goes to us. If we raise 10000 that will be matched, which will be 80,000 meals for the community. So it's a really big deal, and we're just so honored to be a part of it. I mean, Vince, you feed people for a living. That's what you do. But how much does it mean for you to be able to give back even more? Like you, know, this? you know, it's wonderful. It really is wonderful to give back to the community and be part of the community downtown and to help out. And I th they, they've supported us for many, many years, and I'm happy that they have supported us. And, and we like to give back. Uh, well, let's talk about some of the meals that are being featured. You brought in a number of dishes that look fantastic. Kind of tell us what you have here. Well, we've got a chicken parmesan, and this is served with the green bean Santa Ana potato. We've also got our famous uh, Mara's Italian salad, and a, or a minestrone with the entree. Then we have the filet mignon with our famous zip sauce. We get Santa Ana potato or pasta. You can have pasta with it if you'd like. Or we have a chicken picante which is done off with a nice lemon butter de hotel sauce. And then we also have a sea bass, which doesn't have the Bernays, uh, Bernays crab meat Bernays sauce on top of it, but it is part of the program. Each one of these entrees, the chickens are 35 and the sea bass and filet are 50. Yeah, it's nice to have the variety of prices there. You're right. going to attract a number of other people and who might not have mm -hmm. experienced Mario's. Now, uh, you know, Mary, tell us about the importance of an event like this and what it means. So um, in particular with events like this, all of the exposure that Forgotten Harvest has been receiving has been so wonderful. Um, food is a love language uh, for many, but it's also a basic human right. So being able to inform the public and those um, that are experiencing food insecurity in Metro Detroit is just so important. And uh, this kind of exposure allows us to ensure that the people in the Wayne, Oakland, and Macomb counties know about us and know that our food is there for them if they need it. Um, ForgottenHarvest.org, if you go to find food, It'll tell you a list of all of our pantries, addresses, what times they're open, and anyone's welcome to come, and it's completely free of charge. You know, food is something a lot of us take for granted. We always have it on our plate. We're lucky enough for that. But a lot of people don't. Give us an idea of how, then maybe not numbers specifically, but how many people actually use Forgotten Harvest and the associated things like that. Yeah, so we, um, we would like to go out of business, but unfortunately, uh, we were serving over a hundred thousand families every single month. That's amazing. Um, we rescue between 40 to 45 million pounds of food a year and we're hoping to increase that number moving forward. Um, but yeah, we've actually seen an increase, a 30% increase in our pantry lines just since January. So there is a need out there and um, unfortunately it is growing. Uh, Vince, I gotta ask you about the famous zip sauce. I know you can't give away uh, the speaker and ingredients, but <laughs> give us an idea. If the people haven't had it, what's it like? Oh, it's it's in heaven. You've gone to heaven when you have our zip sauce. <laughs> hey, that's a, uh, who wouldn't want to have that? We, we sell a lot of filets. <laughs> yeah, now, uh, I know it's like asking, you know, to choose which one of your kids is your favorite, but if I come into the restaurant, which one are you recommending? The, the filet or the sea bass? Filet or the sea, sea bass? bass yeah, All right, hey, don't set a hesitation on that. No, I no, like it. No. Manor knows what he likes. All right, All right, let's do Dinner Detroit. It goes till Thursday. It's a fantastic event. Get down to Mario's and have one of these fabulous entrees between 35 and 50. Yeah. All right, great yeah. price. Mary, yeah. Vince, thanks a lot for dropping by this morning. Thank so much you for having us. us.